Modern homes are full of electronic equipment. A lot of that has their own switch mode power supply. That's really bad if you're a radio ham because of the amount of interference that they often generate. One fix is to fit almost everything with ferrites. Here's a bag of ferrites. You can never have too many. They are of various sizes. Find one that fits snugly over all your power, audio, data and other inputs and outputs for all your computers, modems, speakers, monitors, keyboards and power supplies. Making sure your household appliances don't radiate noise is important, particularly if you're about to accuse your neighbour's gear of causing interference. I'll turn on my equipment, have a listen on bands like 2 meters where I get a fair amount of noise, and clip on some ferrites and see what effect that has in reducing it. My computer and modem are all switched off and unplugged. I'll plug them in and switch them on and you can hear what happens to the noise. You can hear the noise building up, just switched on the computer and the monitor. It's booting up. Bit more noise, you heard just then. Even more noise. This is Two Motors FM. People think that FM rejects noise, but that's not necessarily so, particularly when it's quite severe, like from computers, power supplies and the like. Here on the vertical antenna, it's between S0 and S1. Just turning on the computer, and you can see that it's peaking up to S2. On most contacts it might not make a difference, but when you're really struggling to hear a signal, then it definitely will. What I'll now do is put some ferrites on just the computer's power lead, and we'll see if there's much of a difference. Yep, looks like there is. Back to S0 to S1 noise. This is 10 meters. The computer is off, monitoring a beacon about 20 kilometers or so away. Now turning the computer on. and it really smothers the beacon. You can hear 10 meters from the other room. This is a power board that goes to the computer and monitor. Now have a listen when I clip on a ferrite. That's dramatic. Just one ferrite did all that. Since this is clearly the source of the noise, it wouldn't hurt to clip on a few more. And you might have just heard, the noise went down even more.
Let's go for another. And as for two meters, have a look at the S meter, nothing at all. Six meters is much improved. Before I had a lot of noise, but most of that's gone. If you run out of small ferrites, you can always use a larger run and wrap the wire through it. Even if you don't think adding a ferrite makes a difference, it's better to leave it there. That's because noise is incremental. Once you get rid of the bigger noise sources, you'll find smaller and smaller ones. Every little bit helps. Yeah, it might mean coiling in dusty spaces, but fitting ferrites like these is worthwhile if you want to get the most from your amateur station.